Yo, what is up guys? FL Frost Linux here back here once again. And today, people, today we're gonna be running one of my favorite gacha games, Punishing Gear Raven on Linux. So yeah, uh stay strapped in for the guide. And yeah, I'll just quickly mention if you're trying this on Steam Deck, it's not really made for Steam Deck, this guide. I will try and get a Steam Deck video out at some point when my schedule kills up. It's like half of this guide you can't follow on Steam Deck. But yeah. With that out of the way, uh let's get into it. So you guys want to jump over to the guide in the description on here. This might be some updates. But yeah, uh, everyone should open up their terminal. You can do that with the application menu or whatever shortcut you have. And yeah, I think a lot of you guys should be covered by this. So if you're on the Ubuntu slash Debian distro, you want to do sudo apt update and sudo apt install bbe. Very important for this video. That will be if you're on Linux Mint, Ubuntu, Debian, Pop OS, Pico OS, Zorin, or just, you know, anything under the Ubuntu Debian umbrella. If you're on Arch, you know, Arch, Cache OS, Endeavor OS. If you're on Arch, you probably know you're on Arch. That's outside of those guys. Not Steam Deck, even though that is based on Arch. And you guys just want to install this package from the AUR. If you haven't heard about the AUR, it's it's an Arch user repository. It has packages made by the community and maintained by them. So yeah, we're just going to be using the BBE package provided over there. And if you have Fedora Boil, you know, Fedora, Nobara, etc. We're going to be using the copper repository, which is pretty similar to the AUR. And yeah, the instructions on how to do it, I've also put it here. And yeah, you just want to copy these in your terminal. And yeah, everyone should have BBEs installed you can confirm by just copying this in i'll show you guys on my terminal so you can see what kind of output you should expect and yeah you can see i have 0.2.2 you guys should have a similar version as long as it's in like 0.2 it should be fine all right guys now they have bbe installed confirmed with bbe dash dash version we're good to go and we just need to get two more apps so two more apps installed so you guys want to install hero games launcher and proton plus for most of you, just pressing install will get these apps installed quickly, so no fuss there. And once you have that, you can skip to the next section. But if you do not have a store installed, you can just uh, copy these in your terminal and you'll get. You might have to enable FlatHub. You can search up how to enable FlatHub for your distribution, but most of you guys should have that installed by default. Maybe if you're on Fedora, you're going to have to enable it, but it's pretty simple. Just search up. And uh, yeah, once you have these installed, we're good to go. Now you guys have Heroic and Proton Plus installed. Uh, you might not have done first time setup, so I recommend opening Heroic Games first. So it does its first time setup before Proton Plus. So I'm just gonna open mine up. So you guys, yours will open up. It'll do some first time setup, let it do its thing. And when you're done, you can open Proton Plus after. And if Heroic Games has done its setup, it should appear in the top left once you press this or it might be the only option so what we want to do everyone wants to do is press hero games and you want to press proton cache os and we want to download the latest wine version or proton version so just press the download icon I already have it installed and yeah once we have that we are very close to being done or oh, well, one step closer to being done proton cache os latest v3 is the one you should use right now always use the latest I think that's good advice. And especially for PGR, we want Proton Cache OS. Not Proton G, which sometimes I recommend. Now, if you guys have EBE installed, you have Proton Cache OS installed in the Hero Games Launcher through Proton Plus. We are one step closer. So what you guys want to do is head over to the PGR website. So I'm just going to type PGR. And we just want to grab the exe for the installer. So I'm just going to press Windows because we're on Windows. I'm joking, obviously. And you just want to save it in your downloads or wherever, as long as you know where it is. Now that we have our exe, I'm going to open up my Hero Games. And we are going to press Add Game. You're going to type the name of our game. You guys can type Punishing Grey Raven. If you type the full name, you'll get some nice artwork or you can add it yourself. We already have an entry, so I'm just going to type PGR2, but yeah, title doesn't matter at all unless you want the image. And a very important sign we want to press is show wine settings. And we want to scroll down to wine version. 
and we want to select Proton Cache OS latest. Once that's done, we want to press Run Installer first. But yeah, just double check. We have, we have uh, Proton Cache OS latest set, and Center Title is good. So yeah, Run Installer first. It's gonna bring up our File Explorer, and we're just going to go to our Downloads, and we're just gonna select the EXE. Now it's going to use some stuff in the background and our launcher should pop up. Here we go. So we're going to press agree and I'm just going to go on the drop down. So I know where this is installing. Should be the same for everyone, but you can double check if you want. C drive program files punishing your Raven. It's going to take a mental note of that and press install. Press start. Another update. And yes, now we are the most important part of the video. One of the most important parts. If you can't tell, we have the PGR launcher open, but it is currently invisible due to an update that happened a few months ago. So yeah, before running, before a few months ago, PGR was very simple to run. Basically, if you've seen my Stellar guide, it's the same as that. So, but don't worry, we're going to fix it. So I'm just going to press Alt Tab so I can close this. If anyone has another method of how to close it, leave it in the comments below. But I found Alt Tab works every time, so I can just press close. You can try left click or right click the system icon and press exit doesn't work for me but i might as well put that out there so i'm going to go the old time ever method and close it and when that's done this bunch should turn blue very nice showing that the installer is closed and now what we want to do is select our pgr launcher exe because pgr has been installed it's just invisible i know it is what it is so we're going to press this folder icon drive c which is our c drive it's like a virtualized windows drive program files Punishing Grey Raven Launcher EXE. I'm gonna press choose and we're gonna press finish. Now, do not press play yet. We're going to modify some launcher settings, literally one saying, just so the launcher isn't invisible. This doesn't tamper with any game files, so don't worry about game band or TOS or any of that. This is just making so the launcher is visible, guys. So, what we want to do is select the entry you guys are using, minus PGR3. I already have one obviously so we're gonna press that on heroic i can press the center now we want to press the three dots here and you want to press browse files this is going to open your file explorer and it's going to show us the files of our game so as we can see we have a folder with the launcher version number on the store etc this is where we want to be so what you guys want to do is right click the folder with the version number and press open a terminal here now a terminal is open i'm going to grab the final command from the guide you guys can just press this copy uh, you want the first one the second one is if you don't want to do the open in open in terminal method then you just know the path i just thought i put that but yeah this is one we want and we just paste it and it works if you get an error uh just paste it again like i might be able to get an error Nope, I can't get an error, but I'll try to get a screenshot of it and put it there. But yeah, just paste it again, and if it, you get a really bad error, then you might just want to double check your BB installed properly. And uh, yeah, uh, that's the guide. The launcher will work. Will not be invisible now, so that's very nice. And yeah, you guys can just install and play the game as normal. Make sure you're on Proton Cache OS. Let me just check the settings. Yeah, Proton Cache OS for your Wine version. Alright guys, so now we've patched the launcher, the command worked, we can just close this folder, close your terminal or console, and we can just press play on our PGR entry. So I'm going to press play, and the launcher should no longer be invisible. Yeah, as you can see, the launcher is there, you just press download, download again. Now once it's done, we'll be able to press play, go through the login, etc. And uh, yeah, I'll be back when that's done. So yeah, you guys can just press start once it's installed and the game will work like normal but i'll just give a quick tip if you go on your heroic go and press this icon and press edit app slash game press the select executable folder and if you go into punishing gray raven game folder and select the pgr exe this is just going to make it so when you press play it's going to launch the game instead of the launcher and yeah but if you want to like update the game and actually open the launcher, you're going to have to swap it back. But you know, it's kind of infrequent and yeah. 
go in the game and just press oh let me go in the different entry go in the end press the triple dots and just add shortcut and uh, yeah he should be here there it's uh and i think there's a saying in heroic that just adds uh shortcuts automatically so let me try to find that real quick so what you guys want to do is go into settings in general and you just want to go to add games to start menu automatically and then uh, yeah now you can add it to steam if you prefer that actually i haven't tried that rich presence actually might enable that that'd be cool and that's pretty much it She looked and imparted everything. Gamma. Oh, oh, oh. Bravo. 